Hi guys, time for some English on this lovely Tuesday morning. Um, back to the catch. Hopefully you all enjoyed it yesterday. Thanks to everyone who sent me in their answers to all the questions to do with the video. Well done. Um, I'm glad that people started to put a bit more fuller answers as well. Tried to answer in full sentences. That's good. That's what you need to be doing in year three, four. Um, stop being lazy, some of you. Um, okay, so today we'll be obviously watching the film again. You can do that at any time you like. Um, also today, I put a link on Class Dojo uh, to BBC Bite Size, and it's a special thing on haikus. Um, you need to watch this video with a very famous poet, and he will tell you about how to spot certain kinds of poetry. There's all different kinds. Uh, and the one that we're going to be focusing on after you've watched the video is the one on high coups, because you today are going to be writing your own. So I think we'll do it like this. Um, what you could do, first of all, before you carry on watching me in the library, um, I think you should have a watch of this a uh, little video using the link on Class Dojo um, to do with poetry and in particular to do with haikus. So pause me and watch that one now. All right, so hopefully you found that interesting and you've learned something about the types of poetry, sonnets, and more importantly, haikus. Um, so like he was like he was saying, um, it's all to do with syllables. And he was doing it like this. You can, you, can, you can do it like that if you want to. Or you could do claps. I like to do claps. So um, have a think about some syllables in your own names and maybe some other words as well. So mine would be Mr. Hughes. Three syllables in that one. Okay. Our school Wesley Methodist. Five, if we're going to do this, Wesley Methodist Primary School. Eight, I think. Was it eight? I think it was. Um, so they are syllables. It's parts of the words when you're speaking them. And poetry is all about speaking and saying your poems out loud. That's what poems are supposed to be. You, you write them down, but then they're supposed to be said out loud. Um, so here's where a few more examples. Haikus are usually about nature or seasons. Uh, that's because they come from Japan and they're all to do with nature and things over there. Um, they like writing things to do with that, especially poetry. But they can be about anything. Here's a couple of examples just that I found on the internet. Um, so we've got one called uh, the beach over here. It says sand scatters the beach. Sand scatters the beach. But waves crash on the sandy shore. Seven blue water shimmers. Five. And that's the ones we're looking for. We're looking for those five, seven, five. So five syllables on the first line then seven syllables on the second line, and then five syllables again on the third line down. These are three-line haikus. The other one says, spring is really here. It's not yet, but it's coming soon, hopefully. Um, flowers are starting to bloom. Sunshine fills the air. Five, seven, five. There we go. And we've got one more. This one's about a bee. I have yellow stripes. I fly to all the flowers. I'm making honey. There you go, 575. They are some examples of some haikus. Um, and like I said earlier, that's what you're going to be having a go at. You're going to be having a go at writing your own. And you've got some pack. You've got some sheets in your packs to do with haikus. This is the first one. Gives you a little bit more um, information and some examples. So it says a syllable is a sound which makes up a word. We've talked about that. They've used the word rescue, rescue. Um, and haiku poems are made using three lines. First line is five syllables. Second line, seven syllables. Seven syllables. Third line is five syllables. And the example, they've done an example about the catch. This is what you're gonna be doing. Um, so, at boy, Hungry, small. A rescued box showing thanks. 
severed. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, desperate tribe saved five again. All right, so that's what they've done. Um, so it says at the bottom, have a go at writing two of your own haikus on the next page using the 575 rule. The next page looks like that. It's already set out on the lines for you. Um, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to do one haiku of the two, one haiku about the catch. So think about um, the film, the catch, the characters in it, maybe what's going on. Obviously, there was an example just then. Um, about the, the catch in a haiku form. I want you to do one about the catch. But then I also want you to do one um, thinking about outside your house. So you might want to go out into the garden. If the weather's rubbish, you might want to just look out the window. You might want to go out for a walk because I'd love it if we could do one about the catch, but then also one about nature and outside where we live as well. Because that's what haikus are. They're supposed, a lot of the time, they're to do with nature and things outside. So I'd love it if you could do one about the catch, the film we've been looking at, and also one made up yourself, um, maybe to do with your garden or going on a walk, things like that. If you do go on a walk, maybe take a little notebook with you and make some notes of some of the nature things that you see. Don't just wander off. Make sure you've got adults with you or they know where you're going and things like that. Um, but that's what I want you to try and do. So one haiku poem about the catch, one haiku poem about nature um, that you've made up yourself as well. And these, like I said earlier, are supposed to be read out loud. So I would love it if you could have a go at this one. Keep it safe. And then when we do our Zoom on Thursday afternoon, I'd love to hear some of your haiku poems. Because that's even better than you just sending them to me written down. If you read them out, that would be really good. Okay, so that is your task, your activity, your challenge for English today. Um, hopefully you can come up with some good creative things. I'm sure you will do. Um, and remember, stick to those three lines and the five, seven, five syllable format. And then you'll have some really nice haikus um, written down. OK, that's it for now. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening. Have a good go at that one. And I'll look forward to hearing your haikus. <laughs>